As first vice president of the 2019-2021 term, I received nominations each year for the Garden Club of Kentucky Inc. Enrichment Award. It reads, to the annual convention of the Garden Club of Kentucky Inc., the recipient shall be an individual or organization making a notorious contribution in our Commonwealth by furthering in an outstanding manner one or more objectives of GCKY. The recipient cannot be a Garden Club member. Our 2020 GCKY Enrichment Awardee is Bo Weston, who was nominated by the Gar Danville Garden Club. He began a tree canopy campaign in Danville after the ice storm of 2009 took down so many old trees. Starting on a single street to plant 26 trees led to the Danville Tree Fund. In 2014, he learned about KU Utilities Kentucky Utilities Plant for the Planet program that is designed to encourage nonprofit organizations and local agencies to plant more trees. KU would match what is raised locally up to $5,000 a year. As of 2019, $35,000 of local money was matched by KU, allowing over 300 trees in six years to be planted along the streets in Danville, thanks to Bo Weston's initiative and organizational skills. This project enhances the beauty and livability of Danville and furthers all the objectives of the Garden Club of Kentucky by promoting interest, knowledge, and conservation of native plants. Congratulations, Mr. Bo Weston, Professor Bo Weston, and happy birthday today. Well, I uh, thank you very much, and I'm so glad to be able to be with you uh, in this way uh, this year. Uh, we missed it last year. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this project because it's really a wonderful example of what Alexis Tocqueville meant when he talked about how Americans get together to solve a problem. Uh, because this is a hand-holding, public, private, all kinds of institutions, and the Garden Club has been a lead supporter uh, for years now. So I'm... I think my title is busybody. Uh, I uh, go around and agitate people. So I raise about $5,000 a year from just citizens in town, the garden club, uh, other uh, organizations. And normally uh, we get KU to match that. And that gives us money to buy about 50 trees a year. At which point I go to the extension office and they pick species. The beautification committee uh, picks the actual species spots, we work out which streets we're going to do and they do the spots. The city of Danville receives the grant, receives the trees and does the actual planting and maintenance. And the Wilderness Trace Community Foundation uh, holds the funds and handles the paperwork. And uh, we have had a great response, it's grown every year. Uh, the newspaper likes to count it. I think that may have been one of the stories that was awarded uh, earlier tonight. And uh, there's no end in sight. Uh, we'll just keep doing this. And I uh, think at some point, we'll probably endow a fund for future planting and maintenance. Well, congratulations. And again, thank you for doing such a wonderful, wonderful program. Thank you. Thank you. Our 2021 GCKY Enrichment Awardee is Dr. James Gould who was nominated by the Perennial Garden Club in Paducah for his work at the Merriman House. Now the Merriman House is committed to improving the lives of those affected by domestic violence, working with Kentucky State University and volunteers. He worked to make a large garden space and all this work to develop and care for a garden resulted in nearly 2,000 pounds of produce in the very first year. Then came more volunteer involvement from Marymount House, garden club members, Boy Scouts, and the public. And from the vegetable garden and the flower garden that was planted, vegetable and flower bundles were sold to staff and board members in the beginning, but was expanded to include local florists and markets. Dr. Gould wants to acknowledge all the many volunteers who have tirelessly worked on this project and made it possible for him to receive this award. 
Dr. Gould could not be here this evening due to family illness, but his sister-in-law, Lee H. Smith, is here to accept his award. As I understand, she is the very person that got Dr. Gould involved in this wonderful project. Hello, how are you and welcome. I did get, get Jim involved. He is my brother-in-law and I learned of the mission of the Merriman House just from living in Paducah, but learned of the garden when my local garden club had a meeting there. And the garden is 70 by 90 feet. It is no small task. And uh, Kentucky State University was, was instrumental in the beginnings of the garden. And then Jim is um, the brains behind it. And I'm just one of the many people that are the brawn behind it. <laughs> well, it sounds like it is an absolute wonderful project. And we appreciate you coming to accept his award. Thank you Thank very much. It's, it's an honor. Thank you. Hi, and welcome back to the 2021 Garden Club of Kentucky Awards Program. Number one, Nanine Wallace Bird Award, second place, Gateway Garden Club. First place, Two Creeks Garden Club. 2A Butterfly, second place, Gateway Garden Club. 2A, first place, Two Creeks Garden Club. 2B Butterfly, third place, Bowling Green Garden Club. Second place, Glasgow Garden Club. First place, 2B Butterfly, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. Award for the Charles Law Agriculture Award, first place, the Garden Club of Danville. Number five, tree planting. Honorable mention, Richmond Garden Club with 11 trees. Third place, tree planting, the Garden Club of Elizabethtown with 17 trees. Second place, tree planting, Laurel Oak Garden Club, 28 trees, and the first place winner of Award 5 Tree Planting is the Garden Club of Danville with 102 trees. Number 6, Native Plants, Two Creeks, second place. Number 6, Native Plants, first place, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. 7i Garden Therapy First Place, Two Creeks Garden Club. Garden Therapy 7iii First Place, The Garden Club of Danville. Number 9, Civic Achievement Single Club Second Place, The Garden Club of Danville. 8a Single Club First Place, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. 8B, Civic Achievement, First Place, More Than One Project, Glasgow Garden Club. Number 10, Joe Jean Scott Daffodil Award, Second Place, Bowling Green Garden Club. Joe Jean Scott Daffodil, First Place, Two Creeks Garden Club. Number 11, Saving the Monarchs, First Place, Two Creeks Garden Club. Number 15, Plant It Pink, Bowling Green Garden Club, Honorable Mention. First place, number 15, Plant It Pink, Glasgow Garden Club. Number 16A, Garden Tour, first place, Laurel Oak Garden Club. Number 17, Wallace Scrapbook, Audubon District, Laurel Oak, Wallace Scrapbook, Bluegrass District, Richmond Garden Club, Wallace Scrapbook, Dogwood District, Glasgow Garden Club, Wallace Scrapbook, Limestone District, Painted Hills Garden Club, Wallace Scrapbook, Mountain Laurel District, Middlesboro Garden Club, 
18i yearbook, second place small club, Two Creeks Garden Club, first place small club, Potted View Garden Club, 18ii yearbook, honorable mention, medium club, Laurel Oak Garden Club, honorable mention, the Richmond Garden Club, third place medium club, Bowling Green Garden Club, Second place, Medium Club, the Garden Club of Elizabethtown. And first place, Medium Club Yearbook, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. 18 III Yearbook, first place, Large Club, the Garden Club of Danville. 19A, a club program without a CD, Laurel Oak Garden Club. 19B, Club Program with CD, 3rd place, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. Club Program with CD, 2nd place, Two Creeks Garden Club. And 1st place, 19B, Club Program with CD, The Garden Club of Elizabethtown. Number 20, National Garden Week, 3rd place, Bowling Green Garden Club. National Garden Week 2nd place, the Richmond Garden Club. And number 20, National Garden Week 1st place, the Garden Club of Danville. Number 21, Single News Story, Honorable Mention, Laurel Oak Garden Club. Single News Story, 3rd place, the Richmond Garden Club. Second place, the Garden Club of Elizabethtown. And the first place for single news story, the Garden Club of Danville. Twenty two I, first place, press book publicity, potted few garden club. Twenty two II, first place, press book publicity, the Richmond Garden Club. Twenty two III, first place, press book publicity, the Garden Club of Danville. Number twenty three, photo archiving, first place, Two Creeks Garden Club. Number twenty five, member recruiting most new members, first place, the Garden Club of Elizabethtown. 26 III Membership, first place, the Garden Club of Danville. 28 Attendance, first place, the Garden Club of Elizabethtown. 29A, first place, a tie, three R's, recycle, repurpose, remix, the Garden Club of Danville, and Bowling Green Garden Club. 1st place individual club member, the 3 R's, Recycle, Repurpose, Remix, Laurel Oak Garden Club. Youth Poetry from Kentucky, 1st place, 5th grade, Aubrey Zuccarell, sponsored by Two Creeks Garden Club. Now for the South Atlantic Region Awards for 2020. SAR number two bird protection, overall winner, Two Creeks Garden Club. SAR number seven garden therapy horticulture award, Two Creeks Garden Club. Number 11, roadside improvement. First place, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. Number 20 C, program award, best slide, video, or PowerPoint. First place, the Garden Club of Elizabethtown. SAR number 22 Yearbook Award, overall winner, the Potted Few Garden Club, Small Club. Number 22 Award, winner, Large Club, the Garden Club of Danville. Number 23 Press Book Publicity Award, Overall winner, the Garden Club of Danville for Large Club. 
South Atlantic Region SP1 Special Projects Award, Overall Winner, Two Creeks Garden Club, SP2 Special Projects Award, Overall Winner, Franklin Simpson Garden Club. Congratulations to all the winners, and now I'm going to turn the program over to our Garden Club President, Donna Smith, and she will continue with awards. Take it away, Donna. Thank you, Susan. My first award this evening is the 2020 Best Club Presidents Report. We are bringing you the best of the best. Each of our five district directors choose the best president's report from their district. Then the district directors send the five reports to the state president to choose the winning report. This is a difficult choice because if you could read these reports, you would be so impressed with all the wonderful projects in which these clubs are involved. This year's the winner is Two Creeks Garden Club. Congratulations, Two Creeks. President is Peggy Hunt. My next award, the President's Special Project Award 2020. This was to create a native plant garden that provides food and shelter for cat birds and wildlife. When the Goodnight Memorial Public Library was renovated in 2019, its garden and landscaping were eradicated. The Franklin Simpson Garden Club provided native plant landscaping to 5,000 square feet of barren land to create a public garden around the library. Congratulations to Franklin Simpson Garden Club President Janine Grossmeyer. Thank you, it's a beautiful project. And if I may, I just want to say that the Garden Club of Kentucky is so lucky to have this wonderful, smart, hardworking lady who will lead us on the right path and help us grow. I wish you all the best, Carcel Burchett. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've gotten a lot of good advice from you, madam. Now, this virtual convention could not be possible without three very talented ladies in our clubs, Carla Hawkins, Janine Grossmeyer, and Susan Throneberry. All of this technology that you all know is what has allowed us to have this wonderful, wonderful virtual convention. And I know Donna and I, we feel quite inadequate when it comes to this. So thank you so much for all your time into it to make this successful. And Donna, thank you for all the many hours that we have texted, we have talked, we have emailed, and you've been giving me good advice all along. I'll still be calling on you. And to all of our fellow garden members who have attended tonight, intended today to our meeting, thank you so very much. We, we need to conclude with just saying, let's continue and let's grow. And then let's the 2021 90th Annual Garden Club of Kentucky Convention is now adjourned. Cine DA. Thank you.
Thank you.